Alright, welcome back YouTube. We're going back onto this project um, of building this lug bicycle frame. I don't remember where I left off because it's been a while since I've actually filmed. I've uh, been just editing some of the stuff and getting it ready. I kind of wanted to do a series but I was waiting on parts to show up because I ordered the wrong stuff. Um, so I've got the partial dropout uh, brazed on here. I think I did that on the last video. If not, I might have done it off camera. Got that taken care of. I know I did this off camera. I've got my seat stay caps in. This is what I've been waiting on because I ordered uh, the wrong size the first time. So I had to wait for shipping again from Chiwe in the UK. I uh, just finished also up uh, filing in uh, the top of this so that it will line up better onto the uh, seat post collar. So I got that all fitted up. So now we got a better purchase on there. It blends a little better instead of sticking way out here. We match up to the profile. Now we're ready to clean this up, flux it up, and braze it on. So I'll be doing that next. Alright, I just finished uh, brazing all the pieces together. Got a little hot still up there. Fin did this side first. See that it's stuck in there. It's all nice. Give it a little more pressure later. It's still drying up there. Um, so I'm going to let this all cool down and get it all cleaned up. I'll bring it back bring you guys back in to show you the next shot and uh, they're sloppy so we're gonna have to probably clean up some of it I know I got some silver down here that pulled out from the dropouts um, probably got some around the seat tube as well yeah a little bit right there um, so we'll get the, that all cleaned up see how we did see if we need to do any more any touch-ups or anything like that so we'll be right back all right, so I've got the uh, seat stays all brazed in. Got the seat stay caps there. Cleaned it up a little bit. Got all the flux off. And uh, start filing in here where I had a lot of uh, pulling coming in on the, uh, from uh, brazing in the uh, partial dropouts that I have. Little adjustable numbers. So I've got my wheel mounted up. I'm uh, gonna put this, uh, the brake I'm using. The Dia Compe um, break. I've got that lined up. I've uh, already actually I've done this, so I kind of got this lined up here, got it in the middle setting, and then put a mark right here where this bolt uh, lines up with the seat stay so that I can get my brake bridge uh, figured out where it needs to go uh, between these seat stays. This also acts as a brace on the seat stays as well. Uh, I'm not going to bother with the chainstay brace. The uh, bottom bracket already has one in it. I guess I could add another one right here, but it might take up some room where a possible fender might go uh, later on. So, I'm not going to do that. Just going to go with the uh, brake bridge uh, slash seat stay support there. So, I've already got that lined up. Um, I've already marked it on here using my micrometer and uh, figured out what... Uh, where I need to cut this down to. So I need to get this cut down, get it kind of filed into shape. Um, unfortunately, there's not an easy way of doing it. I'm just going to have to take a half round file like this one or maybe a chainsaw file and just kind of get those curves matched up in there until it fits in there nicely. Um, and then we can braze it in place. So that's that. All right, so I've got my brake bridge uh, fitted up with some supports on here. A little extra material, not really needed, but I liked it and I purchased it, so we're using it. Um, so I'm just gonna get this fluxed up and get it brazed. I'm not gonna bother recording that because you guys have seen me do plenty of that already, and uh, get you bring you back on uh, once it cools down and I get it cleaned up. All right, we got it uh, all brazed in there. Just waiting for it to uh, cool down so I can clean it up. Um, Got a little bit of, excuse me, a little bit of extra silver right in there. And I think, and yeah, maybe a little bit right back in here as well. Uh, nothing a, a file won't take care of. Anyways, <laughs> we will get it done. I've had a lot of cleanup where I put a little too much in there. I had a little runs go, but that's life. Anyways, after this, um, I think the next thing to work on is going to be the down tube shifter bosses or the water uh, bosses. I'm not sure. I'll come up with something. 
Thanks for watching.